Hi everybody, my name is Kyle. Today I'm going to be starting a series that is based off of books that I wish I had as an undergraduate physics major that I didn't learn about before it was too late. So one of these books, and one of the main books that made me want to start this series is this one right here. It's called A Student's Guide to Maxwell's Equations. It's by Daniel Fleisch. And this book is really thin, as you can see. It is about, I think, 120 pages. I think it's about 130 pages. Yeah, about 125 pages. Um, it's five chapters, and the first four are dedicated to Maxwell's equations, and then the last chapter, chapter five, is dedicated to transitioning from Maxwell's equations to the wave equation. And, you know, so this book is all about, you know, Maxwell's equations, essentially, but I think Fleisch does a great job of developing your intuition, both mathematically and physically, as to, you know, why you should you know study this subject as well as giving you the, t the tools to take on your harder physics classes as a uh, physics major so if you're a physics major uh, at the undergraduate level then you will most likely have to take a class based off of this book it's introduction to electrodynamics by david griffiths and when i first went into my electrodynamics class it was really hard i just hadn't seen vector calculus in about a year i hadn't seen the concept of electricity and magnetism since my introductory uh, electricity and magnetism class so that was about a year so i was really uh, rusty with both those things you know you really need to be good with vector calculus and you really need to be good with your basic electricity and magnetism before you can get into this class and succeed and this book does a great job of doing that. It has all of Maxwell's equations explained to you in both integral and differential form, showing you how to use vector calculus to go from the integral to the differential form and back. And it has a, just a plethora of example problems that you can work through that have the solutions on Fleisch's website. So I'll put the link to his website in the uh, description below. But this book was just really good and sort of giving me intuition into topics such as like divergence and curl, Stokes theorem, um, Gauss's uh, theorem to, you know, work with Maxwell's equations. And I really think that if you're a physics major, you should just pick this up. It's like, I think 25 bucks last I checked on Amazon um, because, you know, e &M is such an important subject that has so many mathematical techniques that if you're not strong in before going to that class it can be a real nightmare as i can attest to and getting this book would just definitely make the process less painful um i will say that it's the problems aren't necessarily as hard as some of the problems i've seen in books like griffiths but if you know how to solve the problems in this book then you will have a good intuition as to solve the problems in like griffiths really i can't say enough good things about it he also has podcasts on his website where he will uh, talk about each section in his book and he'll give you intuition as to what that concept is trying to explain like concepts of line integrals uh, that's something that's really important that i definitely struggled with in my vector calculus that was just so nice to see you know explained here in this book so if you want a great book that will explain the concepts the mathematics and the physics to get a good grasp of maxwell's equations then this is a must have on your bookshelf. So again, I'll put the link to this book in the description as well as the website to its problems and solutions. And if you like these kind of videos, please, please leave a comment below and tell me if you'd like to see more of these books I wish I had as an undergrad physics major. So with that, I am off. Thank you for watching.